Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're going to be looking at episode 3 of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series GX by Digital Hat Productions. This is... I shouldn't like this as much as I do. Not that The Abridged is bad, it's actually quite the opposite. I just don't like that The Abridged is making me like GX. Not near the end of GX where there was actually stuff going on that was worth, you know, appreciating. I mean, first season Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. You know, when you just start watching the original series, and it's like, oh, I remember GX. Oh, I wish I did remember GX. After all the hype of the final seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh! And then you just start over with GX, and it's like, oh, I'm being unfair. And it's bad. Not a good mix. Got better later, which, which I never made do. And then this abridge comes along, and they have the gall to actually make it enjoyable and funny. And I'm like, maybe I've been too unfair to GX. And damn you, Digital Hat Productions, for making me think that. I'm also going to keep watching your stuff because, oh my god, you've made me actually appreciate GX. But just pointing that out there, it's a thing. What I'm basically saying is, I'm going to watch the next video, I want to see where it goes, and if you haven't, link below to the original video. Check it out. Because if you haven't, well, actually, you're in for a good treat because it's an amazing video, you should go do that now. I'll give you a second. I lied, I'm not going to wait a second. I'm going to wait two seconds! Ha 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 ha! Might have been three. I'm terrible at math. <laughs> Let's get started. And that's how I got my first period! What? The bunny will never hop again. What? Inspiring, but that really had nothing to do with what I asked you about field spells. A bunny? But excuse me for being open. Yeah, you were open last night, bitch. What? Cyrus! No! Damn! What did you learn from Alexis's speech? I do not piss her off, she'll tell you too much. There. I did, I did it last night. Who the hell God. are you? Cyrus, sit down. Read the background character who might be Australian. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, because Sorry, that's you funny. Idiot. Generic slifer-based insult. Huh? Uh, I never. I love generic slifer-based insults. Is so hot. <laughs> I'm so rich. Hello, my students. Hey, what happened to Crowley? Did his he accent get even worse in canon? Poetry. Love is like a big ancient gear golem. I've heard worse. It, it's unfortunately true. No, that doesn't work. It doesn't, Cyrus, but it's also not the worst I've heard. Me, he is it's by bad, feet. Oh, God, not the cat again! It'll eat ya! You mookie mookie if you Get that thing away from me! <laughs> <laughs> Cats are evil. They'll be like, oh, you're so cute. Go rub up. And they're just like, I want to eat you. Let's fix that. Okay. Yeah, that's a cat. I can understand Hello, the kitties. tight uniforms, but what the hell's with that camera? I don't camera? know, guys. I just... Don't know. No, oh god, they no, can see the camera. No, no, Unless they no, meant ah, in the locker room. Even though there's no possible way of these are obviously Jadens. Judai? Is that some kind of lame middle name? I'm so evil. Dude, did you hear? We Is that his actual name in the Japanese version? I actually don't know. Hot. The I wanna play card games with her kind of hot? The very kind. By what? card games I mean sex. Yeah, I got it, Jerry. Okay, because for a second I was wondering if they actually weren't meaning that. Hello there, class. I'm sure you're bored with doing physical activities, so let's do some mental exercises. So you're in the wrong place for that. Please look at my chest. <laughs> Whoa! But what is this got to do with card games? Don't ask. Look at the chest. That's the last time I watch extra dark one videos before class. Oh, yeah, obviously. I mean, I'm they so just lose all the time and do everything. Using my locker, asshole. Whoa! Looking at the suggestive kiss mark on the letter, I'm gonna say it's from Alexis, which is exactly really? what I should assume. Yes, Even that, that makes perfect sense. Meant for Jayden, I'm You're the only person to show to who wears makeup me. is... Stealing mail is fun! Crowley. Love is like a big ancient gear golem. That's so beautiful! Oh, I can't tell which is... Side. Oh, my God. Really? They had him like it? I mean, that part, yeah, I knew that kind of joke, that he would actually like horrible poetry. Yeah, that makes sense. It's par for course. The fact that they actually acknowledged how bad it was, Crowley literally said, that doesn't make sense. And then he kept it. I actually like that, because that is just a level of laziness on the character's part that actually fleshes him out. Because that kind of thing. The fact that the people making the abridged had the time to say, huh, this is a terrible line, we're going to completely lampshade it by having the character read it out and then still use it. I love that. That's a level of meta stupidity that I cannot help but love. Oh god, this this is why I'm unfortunately starting to like GX. 
<sighs> God, I, it's like I, I'm enjoying it. I don't want to enjoy it. I love you even more than card games. Oh. Meet me at the girls' dorm tonight. Holy more than card oh, games. Shit. Oh, well, now you know it's not true. Blue was a chick magnet. I just knew it. Meanwhile, really? in the tool actually... shed at night. Ooh, oh my. Tight uniforms, cameras, and now they're trying to massage us with baby oil. This what? has nothing to do with card games. Hey, uh, Sully, it's definitely a game. What's that? For Cyrus children. Got a letter from Crowler posing as Alexis, telling him to come to the girls' dorm and what? attempt to try and get me thrown off the academy. Is he just the lassie of the show? He's the lassie of the show. Elemental hero, flame wingman. In what seemed one turn, and what was even more embarrassing, that it wasn't a test deck. It was actually. He's still own. going. Thanks, Chumley. I gotta go. Uh, I don't even know where I got this boat from. I don't even know how he got all that out of Chumley. Get me some poontang. Oh, God. Really? Mission Impossible? Really? Breaking this padlock, I'm so sneaky, I'm the bad guy in this series. Oh no, really? They actually... Even though there's nobody else they, here, I'm going to they, spin it to myself oh, in case I forget. God. He's doing Jane his own theme song. Looking for some action. He's I'm even singing it to Mission picture. Impossible. He'll do that reaction shot joke. Reaction shot! Then that'll be enough to get him expelled! Hell, even arrested! Actually, yeah, expelled, yeah, but, you know, there's entire... You're there, problem, and he'll see you, because of the Isn't flash. Isn't it questionable why there's three girls naked in a pool together? Japan! Perverts, but don't worry, the four kids version will edit in some bikinis. Oh, you're so smart, let's make out! Okay! Then I'll tie her up, and we'll do all kinds of things. Wait, Can't blame guys, Cyrus I think anymore. I hear something outside! Alexis, I, like, hate you so much right now. I'm definitely not being a pervert! That face is really <laughs> freaky. Cyrus is that was intentional, but... Bitches. Oh, Agent Gear Golem! Agent Gear Golem? Where? Is that what? A ninja? He knows about our Ancient translational student. Works. Run, Jimmy, run! You don't fail me now! What? Cyrus, he has blue hair! Come to me, baby! So, which of you ladies is fur... Wait, what do you do with that rope? Wait, no! So what's the safety word then? Meanwhile, at the girl's I mean, dorm, that's safer than I thought Alexa, they were going to. I got a letter from Alexis saying she wanted some. So why don't you go put on something more comfortable? Yeah. What's they even had the here? the wink in there. Why are you two pointing your butts at? Mm. You girls better not be holding another male student against their will again. We're not, but what again? Your voice? This is my voice when I'm off duty. Get over it. <laughs> I'm just saying, Cyrus, you lucky son of a. <laughs> this is awesome, really. Don't cheat yeah, in this. Him, oh my god. Him. Why? He actually called? Did he just... Did he just hang up on the phone? Yeah, I've done that before. Oh, screw this. I'm just gonna go save Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he knew. How the hell did I find a boat so fast? How the hell did you find a boat so fast? No one knows how the hell he found a boat so fast. I'm here to rescue you. Everything's gonna be a-okay. Girls have been sitting on my face all night. What's to save me from? Do me! I'll have you expelled! Um, what? Okay. I summon Ito Cyber! Now attack him directly! I don't care it's the first turn! Do it anyway! Don't, ah, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. You're attacking me on the first turn? Well, we're running out of time, so yeah, pretty much. In fact, this duel has to be so quick, I'm not giving you a chance to make your turn. I'm gonna summon Cyberblader! Oh, yeah, what who needs the rules fuck? when you got card Wait, games? You're using an ice Everyone, everyone needs monster? them, it helps That's a lot. That's so lame! Yeah, that really means a lot because my guy using Wing Karibo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's actually right. fair. Right, just for that, I'm using Fusion Gate to summon my elemental hero, Thunder Giant! Seeing as this duel is on a time limit, if I attack you now, I'll win! With the help of some signature backing music! What? Absolutely really? Oh, you get for God. Being a girl. That was a good duel, Jaden! And also... Yeah, I won't see you, bye! I love you, Alexis! <laughs> and so, after oh, a God. short duel, the Alexis and Cyrus shipping began. I'm going to beat you like think? I beat Jaden Yuki in the final episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. But Accurate. that duel had no conclusion. That's because when I won, Jaden started crying like a little baby. It was so embarrassing that the network refused to show it. <laughs> that's why I never work with amateurs. Okay, first of all, that's not how it went at all. No, that's how it went down. Let me say my side of the story. What happened was, we were dueling. And I was about to kick his ass with this. Is this a? I was about oh god, it's a response video to a little nowhere, Karibo. I got this smell of onions, and it kind of made me a bit teary. I mean, granted, yeah, I was crying, but it wasn't because I was gonna lose. No way was I gonna lose. I'm the best. I was. I, 
Is you he gonna start crying? I don't have to prove anything to you guys. What I said. Okay, so yeah, this is an entire episode of Cyrus stole a letter for Jaden that was meant to screw him over. And then he accurately was called out for the fact that, yes, everything that happened to him is probably some form of fetish material. Yeah, not my preference. Bondage, sitting on, that, that just sounds like a great way to break something. <laughs> or get brush burns. Ow. But, yeah, hey, something for everyone. Just not me. What I'm really kind of excited about, though was that Digital Hat Production spliced in little Karibo shit-talking Jaden Yuki about how he lost the final duel. And then they had Jaden respond in the most terrible way possible. It's not even just a call-out. It's literally having him do the very, at this point, standard YouTube thing of doing the response of just bullshit absolute utter bullshit specifically the kind where you know if you didn't really believe it beforehand because you thought the other guy might be just kind of playing himself up you're like oh no no this guy's a pussy he is completely weak he he can't even defend himself without making the other guy seem way more believable yeah <sighs> i i love it though because that's it's a level of layers in writing that are actually difficult to achieve on the one hand there's just the general okay i'm going to say that this is all wrong then there's the second layer where it's like okay what he's trying to say is he's not actually the loser he didn't cry what the audience needs to get is no he definitely lost and he's definitely crying and then a third level is where he realizes where the character realizes through his own actions that he's not convincing anyone and just bitches out it's a technical term from the verb to bitch. As in, Jaden Yuki bitched. It's a very scientific phrase. I know some people. It goes over a lot of people's heads, yes. <laughs> God, why does that amuse me? It's just really cool to see that because to do it well, you have to start off with knowing exactly what the character should be saying, and that would be in this case just making an ass of himself, so standard YouTube. Followed by slowly writing it in such a way that you get across, no, he's bullshit. He's not actually being honest about any of this. And everything he said is a lie. Which you got pretty well when he talked about the onions and yeah, the obvious unbelievable stuff. And then you get to the third aspect, the part where he's bitching out. You just have to give it long enough for the character to slow down in his words, to get what he's saying, and then just realize, uh, I'm not convincing anyone, even myself. And it's like, I don't need to defend myself from you. It's like, no, no, you didn't. But you also can't anymore, so it doesn't matter. And just walks away. And that's perfect because at any step of the way, the people writing that little bit could screw it up. They could overdo it. If they didn't make it obvious what he was supposed to do as a general call out, it would not have worked. And the only way to do that was to show the bit from Little Karibo shit talking Yugi. One, it's a way to get Little Karibo in there, so it's awesome. Two, it sets the stage for the rest of the bit. So when Jaden's like, no, I didn't do that. That's not exactly what happened. I'm the best. You know he's just, you know, rebutting it. That's what he's supposed to be doing. And they don't go too long. Then they immediately go into him just butchering his defense. That is harder to do because it's actually kind of difficult to write someone who's not saying what they mean or meaning what they say from a personal standpoint, it's actually incredibly difficult to do that well. And in this, yeah, no, they did a really good job. You knew exactly what he meant to say and what he actually said without intending to it. That's complicated to do in writing because a lot of time people end up just sounding like they're talking out of their ass. On the upside, more often it, it sounds like gibberish. You have no idea what they meant and you just get annoyed. It, it, it's frustrating when people do it and do it badly. Very frustrating. Not talking from personal experience or anything. <clears throat> nope. And then just that cop out at the end, that a little acknowledgement that, yeah, I fucked up and I'm just going to walk away. That actually isn't so hard. You just have to say, ah, oh, fuck, I have to try it myself. That, that you can steal from real life because there's so many examples of that. It's actually its own trope at this point. But the fact that they bothered to do it, that Digital Hat put that in there, it's good. Because it's just the level of, yes, this is exactly what would happen in a beef video. Especially when you realize it's live, you can't take it back or edit it out, and you're screwed. It's awesome, and I love it. 
Am I overanalyzing it? Yes. Am I completely okay with it because I find it hilariously awesome? Yes, as well. So all the same, everyone, if you haven't already, there's a link below to the original video. Make sure to hit it up because that was really good and... Oh, God, I'm starting to like GX. Every time I say it, still just feels wrong. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Thank you.